it seems that in order for things to change, we have to appeal to people's wallets instead of their hearts, unfortunately. Cal Poly students fired up one week before graduation, threatening protests against the university president following racial controversies. Good evening and thanks for joining us for the News at 6. I'm Karina Corral. And I'm Richard Gearhart. A new Cal Poly uh, protest has surfaced, organized by students during the graduation ceremony this weekend. KSBY News reporter Megan Abundas is live uh, with us in studio this evening. Megan, what can you tell us about this protest? Students are calling for President Jeffrey Armstrong to resign the push following the recent controversy and protests over racial issues on campus. Nearly 5,000 Cal Poly seniors are eligible to walk at this Saturday's graduation ceremony. Parents, alumni, and Cal Poly staff all in attendance. But before the yellow and green Mustang confetti flies, some students are encouraging all graduates to skip a detail, the handshake with a university president, a long-held tradition. I feel that a handshake with Armstrong is a slap in the face to all the students who have been hurt by his policies and his inaction. So I will not be shaking his hand and I call upon the student body to join me and take a stand. Let's set a precedent. Those participating in this demonstration say Armstrong failed to punish students after what some perceive as racist incidents by Cal Poly fraternities. We feel that President Armstrong lacks the moral authority to run this university. We're hurt and we're frustrated. Um, by his policies, by his inaction. Cal Poly said while the demonstration is disappointing, they support students' right to protest. Their call for increased diversity is shared by President Armstrong. While making these changes takes time, progress has been made. Today, Cal Poly is more ethnically diverse than it has been at any time. Currently, just over half of the student body is Caucasian. They know more work needs to be done, and the university said they will accomplish that by listening to the different voices in the community. Students say they want change surrounding diversity, staff pay raises, student fee increases, and student homelessness. Now, according to a Facebook event, only 100 students are interested in the protest, which is just roughly 2% of the graduating body on Saturday. In the studio, Megan Abundis. All right, Megan, thank you. Petition that has been formed by students calling on President Armstrong to resign has received about 1,200 signatures.